In modern popular fiction, a superhero is a type of heroic character possessing extraordinary talents, supernatural phenomena, or superhuman powers and is dedicated to a moral goal or protecting the public. A female superhero is sometimes called a superheroine. Fiction centered on such characters, especially in American comic books since the 1930s, is known as superhero fiction. By most definitions, characters do not require actual supernatural or superhuman powers or phenomena to be deemed superheroes. While the Dictionary.com definition of superhero is a figure, especially in a comic strip or cartoon, endowed with superhuman powers and usually portrayed as fighting evil or crime, the long-standing Merriam-Webster Dictionary gives the definition as a fictional hero having extraordinary or superhuman powers, also, an exceptionally skillful or successful person. Terms such as masked crime fighters, costumed adventurers or masked vigilantes are sometimes used to refer to characters such as the spirit, who may not be explicitly referred to as superheroes but nevertheless share similar traits. Some superheroes use their powers to counter dated a crime while also combating threats against humanity by supervillains, their criminal counterparts. Often, at least one of these supervillains will be the superhero's arch enemy. Some long running superheroes, such as Superman, Batman, Spider Man, Wonder Woman, Captain America, Wolverine, Green Lantern, The Flash, Hulk, Thor, and Iron Man, have a rogues gallery of recurring enemies. Superheroes sometimes will combat such threats as aliens, supernatural entities, and even ideological enemies such as Nazis. History the word superhero dates to at least 1917. Antecedents of the archetype include such folkloric heroes as Robin Hood, who adventured in distinctive clothing. The 1903 play The Scarlet Pimpernel and its spin-offs popularized the idea of a masked avenger and the superhero trope of a secret identity. Shortly afterward, masked and costumed pulp fiction characters such as Zorro and comic strip heroes such as The Phantom began appearing, as did non-costumed characters with super strength, including Patora Zoo, the comic strip character Popeye and novelist Philip Wiley's protagonist Hugo Dana. Both trends came together in some of the earliest super-powered, costumed heroes such as Ogden Bat, Mandrake the Magician, and Superman. Early superhero films were produced in the 1940s, during the golden age of comic books. But interest lagged during the Cold War era, the form resurfaced in the late 1970s, and after 2000 developed into a number of highly profitable franchises which turned into movies such as Avengers or Man of Steel. Common Traits Many superhero characters display the following traits. Extraordinary powers or abilities Superhero powers vary widely, superhuman strength, the ability to fly, enhanced senses, and the projection of energy bolts are all common. Some characters like Batman, Mockingbird, The Phantom and The Question possess no superhuman powers but have mastered skills such as martial arts, espionage techniques, and applied or forensic sciences to a highly remarkable degree. Others rely on fantastical weapons or technology, such as Iron Man's power armor suits, Green Lantern's power ring, and trick arrows employed by Green Arrow and Hawkeye. Many characters supplement their innate superhuman powers with a special weapon or device. A strong moral code, including a willingness to risk one's own safety in the service of good without expectation of reward. Such a code often includes a refusal or strong reluctance to kill or wield lethal weapons. A motivation, such as a sense of responsibility, a formal calling, a personal vendetta against criminals, or a strong belief in justice and humanitarian service. A secret identity that protects the superhero's friends and family from becoming targets of his or her enemies, such as Clark Kent, or to protect themselves from getting arrested by the police, like Spider-Man, although many superheroes have a confidant.
Most superheroes use a descriptive or metaphoric codename for their public deeds. However, there are also rare ones whose true identities are common public knowledge, even with a costumed identity. A distinctive costume, often used to conceal the secret identity. An underlying motif or theme that affects the hero's name, costume, personal effects, and other aspects of his or her character. A supporting cast of recurring characters, including the hero's friends, co-workers and or love interests, who may or may not know of the superhero's secret identity. Often the hero's personal relationships are complicated by this dual life, a common theme in Batman, Spider-Man and Superman stories in particular. A rogues gallery consisting of enemies that he, she fights repeatedly. In some cases superheroes begin by fighting run-of-the-mill criminals before supervillains surface in their respective storylines. In many cases the hero is in part responsible for the appearance of these supervillains. Often superheroes have a recurring archenemy who is especially threatening, or a nemesis who is depicted as a doppelganger or foil. Independent wealth or an occupation that allows for minimal supervision. A backstory that explains the circumstances by which the character acquired his or her abilities as well as his or her motivation for becoming a superhero. Many origin stories involve tragic elements and or freak accidents that result in the development of the hero's abilities. Many superheroes work independently. However, there are also many superhero teams. Some, such as the Fantastic Four, Dan Agents, and the X-Men, have common origins and usually operate as a group. Some are families in which the parents and kids have superpowers, like the Incredibles. Others, such as DC Comics' Justice League and Marvel's Avengers are all-star groups consisting of heroes with separate origins who also operate individually, yet will team up to confront larger threats. The shared setting or universes of Marvel, DC and other publishers also allow for regular superhero crossover team-ups. Some superheroes, especially those introduced in the 1940s, work with a young sidekick. This has become less common since more sophisticated writing and older audiences have lessened the need for characters who specifically appeal to child readers. Sidekicks are seen as a separate classification of superheroes. Although superhero fiction is considered a form of fantasy, adventure, it crosses into many genres. Some superhero franchises resemble crime fiction, horror fiction, paranoid fiction, and conventional science fiction. Many of the earliest superheroes, such as the Sandman and the Clock, were rooted in the pulp fiction of their predecessors. Within their own fictional universes, public perception of superheroes varies greatly. Some, like Superman in the Fantastic Four, adored and seen as important civic leaders or even celebrities. Others, like the Hulk and the characters of Watchmen, are met with public skepticism or outright hostility. A few, such as the X-Men and Doom Patrol, defend a populace that almost unanimously misunderstands and despises them. Common costume features A superhero's costume helps make him or her recognizable to the general public. Costumes are often colorful to enhance the character's visual appeal and frequently incorporate the superhero's name and theme. For example, Daredevil resembles a red devil. Captain America's costume echoes the American flag. Batman's costume resembles a large bat and Spider-Man's costume features a spider web pattern. The convention of superheroes wearing masks and skin-tight unitards originated with Lee Fork's comic strip The Phantom. Many features of superhero costumes recur frequently, including the following. Superheroes who maintain a secret identity often wear a mask, ranging from the domino of Robin and the Green Hornet to the full-face masks of Spider-Man and Black Panther. Most common are masks covering the upper face, leaving the mouth and jaw exposed. This allows for both a believable disguise and recognizable facial expressions. A notable exception is Superman, who wears nothing on his face while fighting crime, but uses large glasses in his civilian life as Clark Kent. 
Some characters wear helmets, such as Dr. Fate or Magneto. A symbol, such as a stylized letter or visual icon, usually on the chest. Examples include the uppercase S of Superman, the bat emblem of Batman, and the spider emblem of Spider-Man. Often, they also wear a common symbol referring to their group or league, such as the four on the Fantastic Four's suits the X on the X-Men's costumes, or the I on the Incredibles' costumes. Form-fitting clothing, often referred to as tights or spandex, although the exact material is usually unidentified. Such material displays a character's athletic build and heroic sex appeal and allows a simple design for illustrators to reproduce. While a great many superhero costumes do not feature capes, the garment is still closely associated with them, likely because two of the most widely recognized superheroes, Batman and Superman, wear capes. In fact, police officers in Batman's home of Gotham City have used the word cape as a shorthand for all superheroes and costumed crime fighters. The comic book miniseries Watchmen and the animated movie The Incredibles humorously commented on the potentially lethal impracticality of capes. In Marvel Comics, the term cape killer has been used to describe the fictional superhuman restraint unit organization, even though few notable Marvel heroes wear capes. While most superhero costumes merely hide the hero's identity and present a recognizable image, parts of the costume have functional uses. For example, the Venom symbiote suit and spawns necroplasmic karma, with their supernatural abilities have both been of great assistance to the wearer. Iron Man's armor, in particular, protects him and provides technological advantages. When thematically appropriate, some superheroes dress like people from various professions or subcultures. Zatanna, who possesses wizard-like powers, dresses like a stage magician, and Ghost Rider, who rides a super-powered motorcycle, dresses in the leather garb of a biker. Some characters eschew the traditional superhero outfit for apparel considered to be more practical and utilitarian. Shoulder, knee and elbow pads, Kevlar-coated vests, metal-plated armor, heavy-duty belts and ammunition pouches appears on 1990s-era anti-heroes such as Cable, Deadpool, and many Image Comics characters. Other characters, such as the Runaways and the various protagonists of the infamous video game series, do not wear any distinctive outfits at all. Bases, headquarters Many superheroes operate from a base or headquarters. These bases are often equipped with state-of-the-art, highly advanced, and, or alien technologies. They are typically set in disguised and, or in secret locations to avoid being detected by enemies or the general public. Some bases, such as the Baxter Building or the Hall of Justice, are common public knowledge. Many heroes and villains who do not have a permanent headquarters may have a mobile base of operations instead. To the heroes and villains who have secret bases, these bases can serve a variety of functions, including the following. A control room where specialized monitors and other advanced technology alert superheroes to activities requiring their intervention. A command center where they are allowed the ability to send out commands through monitoring equipment. An operations room that stores their technological and alien devices. A crime lab or laboratory for experiments and scientific study. A safe house where the heroes can conceal themselves from their enemies. A research library covering a variety of topics including science, history, or criminal profiling. An armory for weapons design, construction and storage a garage, hangar, or dock, for storage of vehicles, an information center or communications center, a weapons platform, for defense of the facility, a trophy room, where mementos of significant battles and adventures are displayed, a common area, for social activity, trademark status. Most dictionary definitions and common usages of the term are generic and not limited to the characters of any particular company or companies.
Nevertheless, variations on the term superhero are jointly claimed by DC Comics and Marvel Comics as trademarks in the United States. Registrations of superhero marks have been maintained by DC and Marvel since the 1960s, including U.S. trademark serial nose. 72,243,225 and 73,222,079. In 2009, the term superheroes was registered as a typography independent, descriptive U.S. trademark co owned by DC and Marvel. Critics in the legal community dispute whether the superhero marks meet the legal standard for trademark protection in the United States' distinctive designation of a single source of a product or service. Controversy exists over each element of that standard, whether superhero is distinctive rather than generic, whether superhero designates a source of products or services and whether DC and Marvel jointly represent a single source. Some critics further characterize the marks as a misuse of trademark law to chill competition.